hope you are ready with your paper and your pointy pencil and your eraser. Hi, Olivia. Hi. Oh, right. Okay. Just a second. I'm just uh, setting up for uh, YouTube as well. Okay. So, for the hummingbird, uh, we are going to. We're going to uh, see. This is the hummingbird. So we are going to identify what are the basic shapes that we can see. Yeah. So there's an oval shape here and another egg shape here. That's what uh, we're going to draw and it has a long beak. So, um, so we have to leave some space here for the beak. For, it, uh, for instance, I think I'm going to leave this much space here for the beak and I'm going to draw the head over here. So I have enough space for the wings that are going to go like this. So uh, think about the layout before you start sketching. So, uh, okay, so uh, you can even uh, give yourself a mark here so you know that this is the space for the beak. So it's going to be this long and then the head can be here. So, okay, so uh, enough of planning. Let's get started. So I'm going to draw a oval shape here. Slightly tinted oval. like this okay. I hope you are able to see I'll go a little bit darker this is the basic shape of the head and uh, now I'm going to draw egg shape so the pointy part of the egg will be down and the um, wider one will be here and I'll leave some space for the neck so you just uh, draw a oval like this, slightly tilted, and then draw a egg shape. Hello, Ruchika. Hello. Hi. Okay. So I'm going to draw egg shape here. I'll try to go slow today because sometimes I go really fast and you're not able to follow me. So I've drawn an egg shape with the pointy uh, narrow uh, part here and the wider one at the top and I've got a horizontal oval shape. Now I'm going to start joining the head to the body. Thank you. If you say your name that will be really nice so I know who is talking to me and uh, I can say hello back to you. Okay. So uh, let's join the head to the, uh, to the body. So I'll start drawing my curvy line over here in my strokey small uh, lines and then I'll merge it here. Okay. Oh, okay. Hi Tia. Are you drawing today? Have you just, uh, you've just joined, okay, great, uh, right, so this is the neck and now I'm going to join this part to the uh, eggy shape, egg shape, okay, so I'll start from here and I'll come down and merge it here. Now I'm going to erase these lines because uh, I don't need the guidelines anymore. So I'm going to erase these lines. Okay, I'm trying to make this nice and soft. Okay. Now let's add the Tail. For the tail, I'm going to start sketching here and I'm going to come this way, okay, like this in a curvy line. 
as I always tell you, draw not in a continuous line, draw in a little uh, sketchy uh, lines like this so that you can be more in control of your pencil and you know where you're going. If you are not liking where you're going, you can change your course and uh, draw really, really lightly. Thank you for the hearts. Nice eraser. You like the eraser? Yeah, I love this eraser. No dust at all and it's very nice. This is Faber Castell, uh, what do you call it? Putty eraser or kneaded eraser. Oh, thank you, Mariam. Okay, so I've taken this here and now I'm going to start from here and then I'll go wider this time because I want this to be wider than this. So I'll just keep drawing in my strokey lines and there we are. So this is the tail. Now you can draw a V shape like this just lightly, very very lightly because this is just a guideline and then give a strokey, oh sorry, scallopy edge to the tail. So this is the feathery scallopy tail done. Alright, okay, now we'll add the wings. So, um, I think uh, let's add the beak first so that we have more uh, idea of the proportion. Hello. Uh, I'll just make it a bit more like this. Okay. So now let's add the beak. So uh, the beak is going to start from here and it has a long beak. So I have enough space to draw my beak. So I'm going to uh, give myself a mark here so I know where the top of the beak is and then I think this long would be enough seeing the whole body. So I'm going to draw a line like this and then I'll go back here. Right? And now I'm going to draw a V shape here, like this. And then my um, beak is done. So you can make your eraser a little bit pointy to go in this narrow area. And now I'll draw a line in the middle. Okay. So this is done. I'm not. I hope I'm not going too fast now. I'll slow down a bit now I need to put an eye you know that I always make circular eyes like this and then I just add a pupil okay uh, right now it, most of the bird is done now we just had to have to uh, add the wings so uh, so this is the neck, right? So this is the narrow part of the neck. Uh, no, this comes in a box like this. Uh, it's available everywhere on Amazon or any stationery supplier. It's called a putty eraser or a kneaded eraser. Okay, so now I'm going to add the wings here. So you know where the top of the uh, egg shape was somewhere there and then I'm going to draw a, so a slightly upward curve here for the top of the wing yeah like this in my strokey lines I think this much length should be fine and yeah, so this is a curvy line and now you're going to come back to the body like this. Draw lightly because this is a guideline till here and then uh, so uh, we've drawn a guideline here so I'll just draw a scallopy just an irregular scallopy line here to make it look feathery. Now I have this line, I'll come down a little bit and give myself a mark and I have to go back to this point. So this is the top bit of the wing. Okay, and then I'll go 
just draw a C shape here and finish this like here and then I'll just uh, draw a line for to finish off the wing now we don't need this one because this is hiding behind this wing so this is one wing done now we have to show a little bit of the wing on the other side so for that I'm going to decide where the other uh, wing will end so definitely above here above this wing and so I'll give myself a mark here a little bit like this is here so this is a bit inside and then I'll do the same thing I'm going to draw a slightly upward curve here like this and then I'm, I'm going to do the same scallopy line here and this is all done uh, okay uh, I, uh, I need to give a little uh, red chest here some of the uh, hummingbirds have it some don't so I have added it thank you Mariam thank you so who is Finch, Finch Dun Duncan can you say your name so I know who's drawing with me what did you tell in the beginning uh, no I can't find it uh, yeah next uh, okay next week I think we are going to draw definitely a sloth and a koala and uh, I don't know about the third uh, thing that we are going to draw if you have a suggestion what can go with the sloth and a koala let me know uh, I'm very excited to draw a sloth I haven't drawn a sloth ever so I would love to do, do it and even koala I really like seeing uh, other people's uh, illustrations of koalas and, um, and sloths kangaroo yeah kangaroo is one option uh, what else can we do because sloth and uh, koalas <coughs> both uh, uh, like usually seen and on the trees so what else can be on the trees just wondering if I don't uh, find anything else I'll draw a kangaroo but uh, I'm thinking about something more smaller but uh, I have no idea uh, okay so I'm just adding a C shape here for the for the red mark that we see on this kind of hummingbird so this is a C shape here and uh, then I'll just use this as a guide and I'm going to just draw a curvy line here to merge the C and this line okay we have uh, monkey and butterfly okay yeah mythical creatures yeah we'll do that as well caterpillar I don't know what it is are you saying I don't know what it is okay so uh, I'm going to draw the uh, outline now I'm using my permanent ink uh, pen so I'll just outline everything and then I'll erase the pencil marks and then quickly color it caterpillar okay is it oh, okay I I thought so I thought it was a caterpillar but I th but then I thought that maybe it is some other creature that I don't know about because uh, my son keeps telling me about uh, animals that I haven't ever heard about so I didn't want to risk it <laughs> I just said I don't want I don't know what it is yeah, I thought it was a caterpillar. Yeah, caterpillar. Yeah, that's a nice idea. Have I done caterpillar? I don't remember. I, I love drawing uh, bugs. I've done a couple of uh, fabric designs with different bugs on it. Uh, okay, so for the head, I'm going to draw broken lines because I want to show it furry. Okay. And uh, yeah, I would love to draw a caterpillar and snail and what else a moth or uh, yeah we are moving to a little bit. Mo 
moving to my YouTube channel. Okay. Caterpillar, sure. You have not done. Oh, okay. I have not. All right. Uh, yeah, we'll do a, a, a series of bugs then. So, caterpillar, butterfly, and a snail. Okay. Uh, the woman of world is yeah, from my live. Okay, I don't have a YouTube live though. I am going to post this video on YouTube later. Okay. Right. So this is done. Now I'm going to just add these little C shapes here to make it look like feathers, feathery just a little effect just here and that's it I think yeah or maybe we can give movement lines here it's like this so we know she's this bird is fluttering the uh, the wings uh, okay so I forgot this line okay now I'm going to erase the pencil lines hello uh, hello, Parul. Oh, this ink was still wet. That's okay. okay, this is done. Now let's start coloring. So for the uh, uh, for the uh, body mainly we are going to take all of our greens. I have three shades of green, so I'm going to start with the lightest one. I'll erase it because I need a lot of pigment. Okay. Okay. So uh, I'm uh, the lower part is going to be lighter, so I'm going to start there. Okay, so I'm just coloring at the bottom part. Now I move to the medium green. I'm not worried about the um, effect right now because I'm going to go over with a wet brush. So um, everything will be nice and blended once I use water. So I'm just coloring in quickly. darkest green uh, okay um, yeah so they are Stadler Stadler's uh, watercolor pencils no I'm not uh, doing watercolor but I'm just using watercolor pencils and then I'll go over them with uh, plain water I think I'll uh, add more light green here because I want to make it uh, more uh, warmer and brighter. So I'm just uh, layering it. Okay. So, hello Malini. 
Okay, so now I'm going to um, I, I'm always uh, composing it for the YouTube, so uh, I keep on looking at the YouTube screen so they can also see a bit of what I'm doing. Okay, uh, right. So yeah, so this top part will be mostly medium green. Thank you. Thank you, Malini. Hello. Oh, thank you. Okay, now let's do this one. So for this one, uh, we will start with the lightest green here. So we have three uh, areas here which are the same color but we need to define it for that what we'll do is we'll uh, try to uh, you know have different uh, tones uh, next to each other like if uh, this is dark so i'm adding a lighter one here so that it um, um, it defines more and it shows better and uh, I'm doing all the light color here and the darker ones at the top like this although we have a black outline but still I will try to have different uh, shades uh, next to each other so you can clearly see the veins again layering with light green a little bit okay so this is done now the chest for the chest i'm going to add two colors pink and red so just covering the whole thing with pink uh, even if it is not yes of course you uh, this will uh, be saved in IGTV uh, on Instagram you know how to uh, see the IGTV right and uh, I am also going to put it on my YouTube channel so you can uh, watch it whenever you want and uh, my YouTube channel name is Nupur illustrations and uh, I save all of the videos that I uh, do here on the live on it so you can uh, use them watch them and draw with me whenever you want so I'm going to uh, draw this part of the wing now so I'm using another shade of green if you don't have this one you can use the lightest one or, uh, or mix yellow and this color this and yellow together um, to create the lightest green color I'm just filling in flat and I'm just adding a little bit green here. Okay, and the beak is going to be orange. All done. Okay, now I need water. So I put the water over here. Um, I think it's fine. Yeah. Okay. So I'm using my brush pen. What happened? Oh no. Is it? I don't know. Uh, maybe you can uh, try it again because it, it is hummingbird is not easy to make in one go. Or, uh, you know, you can fix it by changing the shapes and things. 
you don't have to finish it right away if you are not happy you can uh, change it and i'm sure it won't be that bad so i'm just going over to help me with a wet brush okay now i'll go on the lightest green or maybe the belly i have these uh, dashes on the belly so i'll spread it a little bit lighter screen Now uh, I'm going to do the green body so I'm going to start with the lightest color because I want to retain all the shades of green I don't want to make all the greens dark so I'm touching the light green first and I'm cleaning the brush as I go so that I don't mix the color so the lightest part first And then I'm going to go over to the medium green and then the darkest. Now my brush is all dark green so if I touch the light green areas it will become all the same which I don't want. So I need to clean my brush. So just swirl the brush and just tap it on the side and now I will just start touching the medium green and then the dark areas. Do the same thing here, the lightest part first. And then touching the medium. And then the darkest. Now clean the brush. Tap it on the side. you're really nice girls yeah that's right I just saw what you're talking yes you can try again and each time you try again it comes out better and better okay so this is our hummingbird ready and it is fluttering nicely